Hey, 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 how's it going, you guys? I am so nervous um, because I am not an expert in this. I am just a regular girl who decided she needed to lose some weight. Um, so, can I tell you my story? <laughs> um, I, I'm not Catholic, but every year I participate in Lent. And this year, I kind of thought, I, I want to do some things that will maybe help me lose some weight, right? So, um, one of the things was um, that I gave up alcohol during Lent. Um, Lent this year was from February 17th until April 1st. It was 40 days, and I knew I could do I think that was the dates. I don't know. It, it was sometime around there. It was for 40 days right through um, that area. But um, I wanted to give up alcohol. Um, I knew that I was drinking really high sugar, high carbs, high all the things, and I was kind of over it. Um, and, and through that process also, I this is unrelated to why I'm on here, but um, I realized how much I was using alcohol as a coping mechanism. Um, like a bad day, we had a beer, um, you know, a bad weekend, uh, um, a, a bad day with the kids, uh, all the things, right? I was using it as a coping thing, and I hated that. Um, I hated that feeling of not being in control over something that I was putting into my body and I didn't want to stay there so I gave up um, alcohol for Lent and it was 40 days with no alcohol and I started noticing some changes right so um, on I think it was March 3rd or 4th I went to the doctor I was having terrible terrible headaches and um, I went in and said what's going on with this I don't have a headache today, but I had it two days ago. I've been having them for several months, um, and it puts me down. I want to die. <laughs> Sorry, I had a phone call. Um, I get home, and um, I just go to bed. The headache is so bad. And he's like, okay, come on in. We'll check it out. So first things first, they take my blood pressure and said, do you have a headache right now? And I'm like, no. And he said, okay, well, your blood pressure is through the roof this is not a good thing right so they tell me to go home and take my blood pressure for 24 hours and just see where it's at was this a fluke they're not really sure at this point but they want me to to just take it a couple times over the next 24 hours and and get back with them okay and so i get back with them and it's still really really high they did some blood work in the meantime to see if anything else would be causing that right so they said Take your blood pressure for 24 hours. Let's get some blood work back on you, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do next. So blood sugar was through the roof. Uh, blood pressure was through the roof. Blood sugar was not terrible. I'm, that's Nicole, that's a lie. Nicole, um, 101, please. I'm supposed to be working, but they can leave a message right now. I feel like this is important. Let me turn it down. Um, so... Um, my blood sugar was just a, a little bit elevated and my blood pressure was through the roof stroke level not not at all where I needed to be and I just looked at my doctor and I asked him are these things because of my weight because I knew I had gained weight I knew I was stressed I knew I was eating all the food I knew I was doing all the things and um, he said quite possibly yes Okay, and I said, okay, so what can we do about that? So he put me on some medication, but he said, I have to check in every month and I can only have it for three months. And then I have to figure out how to manage it on my own. So create good habits during the time that the medication is helping you. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. So I had to wait a couple weeks for my blood pressure to get under control. And then I started on the medication. Um, I started after Lent, I didn't go back to the alcohol. Um, I didn't go back right away because I didn't like the control that it had over my life. I just, I didn't love that I wasn't in control of my life. And so, um, I, um, went back to alcohol several, maybe a month later, but my husband and I really started watching what we were drinking. No high sugar drinks, no high carb drinks. Um, I love the Truly Punch. Um, I found vodkas that didn't have, that had really low sugar, no carbs, no sugar, all those things. I would add the Mio's water, whatever I could do to keep those um, sugar and carbs down. So um, I started on the medications and I took three medications. One to help with weight loss, blood sugar, and blood pressure. My goal was that if I could take the medication to lose the weight that I would not have to take the blood pressure and the blood sugar medicine forever, right? Okay, so um, 
60 days later, I went in, maybe 90 days later, I went in, um, took more blood work, and my blood sugar was down just from losing the weight. Um, what I did was I took the medication, I'm not gonna lie about that, I took medication to help me, but what I did was I fasted through breakfast and lunch, trying to create some habits of intermittent fasting to where I would only eat during a certain time of day. Um, I would love that time to be mornings, but it doesn't work for me. Evenings is with my family and we eat together. So um, I would only eat dinner and I just kind of reduced my portions. I did start trying to do some Herbalife shakes, but then I just found that I didn't want them and I just didn't do breakfast or lunch and only did dinner. So I was super concerned with what would happen when I when I went off of the weight loss medication. Um, I was worried because I had done it before, um, probably maybe, I don't know, five or six years ago I had done it for a few months. Um, and then as soon as I went off it, I immediately gained all my weight back. It was immediate and then some. And so I was really, really nervous about it, but... I thought maybe I could do this, right? So um, if you haven't seen my before and after picture, oh, you guys, I put it in my stories and I'll put it at the beginning of this video to post other places, but um, it's seriously incredible. Within one month of just doing the medication and changing my diet with no alcohol, um, the bloating in my stomach went way, way, way down, okay? So I stopped the medication actually before I was done with it um, because I didn't want to have to continue relying on that. I wanted to be able to do it for myself, right? So um, the company I'm with came out with a chicory coffee and it was supposed to help with blood pressure, blood sugar, and these are not FDA things, but they were things that other people were noticing. Blood sugar, blood pressure, inflammation in your body. Oh yeah, I have all of that. Gut health, y'all, I have that. I'm more regular. If you follow me on Facebook at all, you know all that story. Um, and then weight loss, anxiety, stress, depression, all of those things. So it was supposed to help with mood. I have one customer that tells me it's like Xanax. I have one person that says she doesn't want to bitch slap anybody anymore. <laughs> and I have um, a person that tells me it's helping them with weight loss. Well, for me, it, it has been helping with weight loss. Um, I stopped my medication, the weight loss medication, um, several, several weeks ago. And I wanted to see if the coffee alone would help. You guys, it's helping. I'm still fasting through breakfast and lunch. That would not have been possible before um, when I would go off a weight loss medication and then you would just gain all your weight back. So um, I do have some assistance in it, but it's possible, you guys. It is so possible, okay? So um, uh, what was it? Two, three weeks ago, my doctor called me after blood work and you guys, I am off my blood sugar medication. That is freaking huge. I don't know if it's the weight loss, I don't know if it's the chicory coffee, I don't know if it's a combination of both, but I'm gonna continue both because I feel great, I have energy. Um, when you feel great, you look great, You everything about you just becomes better, right? So um, I don't know how much weight I've lost. I, I, I can't get on here and tell you that because I am um, forgetful. <laughs> And I keep forgetting to put batteries in my scale and weigh. I know how much I started at, but I don't know where I'm at now. But honestly, I don't care. Because here's the thing is if you see that picture, those are the same jeans in all three pictures that I took in March, April, and I took it this morning. And I am so proud that I'm sticking with it. And here's, here's what I think I want to tell you is that it doesn't happen overnight. Um, it doesn't, um, it's not going to be easy right? Um, it literally took me say, being told that choices I was making in my life would result in me being on medication for the rest of my life. And if I didn't change something, I would probably end up diabetic and insulin dependent. And I didn't want to do that because I'm not a medication person. So over the weekend, I did try to not take my blood pressure medication for a few days. And then I took my blood pressure medicine, or I took my blood pressure. It was still high. I went ahead and took the blood pressure medicine yesterday and today, and I'm going to go ahead and refill the prescription. We're just going to give it a little bit more time, see what happens. But you guys, here's the thing is whatever you want to do in this life, it is possible. 
um, you can lose the weight. You you can make the money. You can get healthy. You can have a better marriage. You can have better relationships. You can do it. But everything is going to take work and nothing happens overnight, right? So same thing with my weight loss journey as my direct sales journey. I'm six and a half years in. This didn't happen overnight. I read a book the other day that told me that at year seven, you become an expert. And I'm like, I feel that. I feel that because you don't become an expert in anything over two weeks. Because here's the thing is that I have lost quite a bit of weight. um, And I feel so much more energetic. I feel healthier. My back doesn't hurt as much. Um, I feel more confident in my clothes. But that didn't happen overnight. It started with one thing, and that was giving up alcohol during Lent. And then it it started with, you know what? I like how I feel when I'm not drinking as much. Uh, I'm not going to not drink, but I'm going to watch what I drink. I'm going to do lower carbs, lower sugars, lower calories, all of those things, right? I'm going to try to eat more vegetables. I'm going to try to eat less pasta. You guys, um, during the month of July and December, me and my best friend always read Eat, Pray, Love. Um, because it's my birthday month and we want to start the new year feeling that, um, inspiration from that book that we get. And, um, she messaged me this morning and she said, I think the coffee's really working because I haven't wanted to super indulge in, um, pasta or pizza like I usually do when we read Italy of Eat, Pray, Love. It was so amazing. And, but she's so right, you guys. I was so proud last night. Kyle and I together shared nachos at the carnival. We're still not um, holding ourselves back from all the things that we want in this life. But everything in moderation, right? We still went to the carnival. But we shared the nachos. And we shared the funnel cake. Instead of each getting a dinner. And each getting a lemonade. And each getting a funnel cake. And, and it's just about small things. And I feel like someone out there needs to hear that. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to do it all. You don't have to be 100% prepared. It doesn't have to go perfectly. It doesn't have to, doesn't have to look a certain way, but you will have to take the first step. I had to give up alcohol. I had to see that hole that it had on me. I had to see how I felt with, without it, um, before I could add it back in. I had to be told that I would possibly be on medication for the rest of my life if I didn't make some changes. You guys, I hate that. I don't want that. And I don't want that for you either. Okay. So start making some changes because it's possible. I'm not exercising. I didn't completely change every single thing about my diet. Do I try to eat a little bit better? Yeah. But if we want to make crunch wraps on the Blackstone, I'm going to eat it. If he wants to make the apple pie dessert on the Blackstone, I'm going to eat it. But I'm not going to eat four, right? I'm still going to eat a pizza, but I'm not going to eat half a pizza. So you guys, it's about small changes. You want to work on you? Start with one book. You, you want to lose some weight? It starts with one thing. Just do one thing. You are capable of doing one, one thing, right? One thing. Thank you, daddy. Um, I have an amazing support system and when I want to do crazy things like share nachos, (laughs) my husband does it. Um, and he actually said, I'm like, well, did you, do you feel like you ate enough? He's like, yeah, I probably still over ate. And what's crazy is we would have before both got the nachos and both ate the whole thing and both been sick. It's, it's, it's really crazy. I do want to add in some physical activity, but you guys, that picture, it says it all. Um, it's crazy, but I love you guys. I just want to encourage you in whatever it is you want to do. All it takes is one step. It's just one. You don't have to do the whole step. You don't have to know the whole plan. You don't have to have everything laid out. It's just one thing. It's just one thing. Just, just start with one thing. In my direct sales business, I had to say yes once. I just had to say yes one time to doing this business. And then I had to do it. And there were a whole bunch of steps after that. But for my weight loss, it started with giving up alcohol for 40 days. I can do anything for 40 days. Jesus didn't eat for 40 days. I can give up alcohol for 40 days. But you guys, I am so proud of me. And I want you to be proud of you. So I love you. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And I'm actually going to get back to work now. So bye, guys.